So before I say a word, I'd like to say that music theory is about sound. And what works for one person doesn't work for a lot of other people. So what I'm about to suggest might not work for you, and maybe it will. I'm just throwing it out there to add it to the mix. My attempt is to add more colors, put more colors in the paint box. Uh, this is a video response to Locks and Learns video that is in turn a video response to Volvo Voxberger's video about plain funk. And their pieces were in B natural, and mine is in B flat. And after I finish playing over the dominant seven chord, I'm going to move on to this progression. And this is a way that I found to add more colors. And the, uh, the chords that are underlined and highlighted in red, I don't know if you can see that. These chords are, uh, have a parent scale that is called the melodic minor ascending, or also known as the diminished whole tone scale, also known as uh, Lydian flat seven, and I'm sure there are other names, uh, but the name really makes no difference.
postscript. I'd like to say that while watching these two videos I'm responding to, it occurred to me that YouTube is indeed the cutting edge of music education, or at least jazz education. And that's saying a lot. 